Now, before I give you your homework assignment, let me just go over one, you know, quick example here. So remember our database class? It's got like a kind of shitty low testosterone version of vector. It's got max number of entries, which is like the capacity, and it's got current number of entries, which is like the size, and then you got your entries um, array here, which is static array. So it can't grow past max, which is 16, very low ceiling. Uh, if we made this a vector, we would our life would be easier and we wouldn't be limited to this static uh, array allocation size here. It would grow on demand, basically. So how would we do this? Well, it's quite simple. We go up here. Let's include vector, obviously. We're going to want that shit. And let's go down here. I mean, we could do a lot for database. We could replace all the chili string functions with IO stream. We could replace all the chili strings, all the C strings with std strings, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to fix the vector shit. So instead of entry and all this bullshit, all we're going to do is we're going to go std vector entry uh, in trees. There you go. So now we've got the entries. Uh, what is the what is the constructor of this class? Okay, this default constructor will default construct a vector, and it will be empty. Now, when we add an entry, we don't have to check whether it's less than max entries or whatever. That's that's not a big issue. All we got to do, we don't have to you know increase the current number of entries. All we got to do is go entries dot push back. No, in place back. And we call the uh, we call the constructor, all right, with the pointer to the name and the value, and that will construct it by doing a string copy, I believe, in mm, entry. And nah, let me just make sure here. Yeah, it does a string copy, so that's fine, and that's good. That is good. In place back, that should do it. Void add in place back. We did it. We just replaced a whole bunch of code with a little bit of code. Print for blah as long as this and now this is going to be nicer because we can do a range based for loop. So for const int no wait for constant auto or we could just do constant entry ampersand e for each entry in entries and then we can just do e dot print right much sexier much simpler. Uh, what about save? All right, what are we gonna do here? We've got a write, and we got a for each entry. We've got to serialize the entry. So first thing we do is we gotta write out the uh, number of entries. So we don't have current number of entries. Uh, what we need to do is we need to create an integer. If we're gonna do a binary write with a pointer, we need an integer to first store the size into. So we do. Uh, constant int size is equal to entries dot size and then we do address of size then I'll write that out to our file and now for each entry so again for each entry call e dot serialize forgot a uh, semicolon there and size of current number of entries is just going to be size of size uh, not complicated at all. There you go. Now you've got your save. You're going to do something quite similar for your load in dot read. Okay, so again, we need to do we actually need to read that in because we're not going to be writing current number of entries. We could actually get away with not let me show you what I'm what I'm doing here. Okay, so we need we need an int uh, n entries, and we're going to read from the file into n entries. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Now that we have the number of entries, we just got a loop for i is equal to zero as long as i is less than n entries i plus plus, and then we go entries. Ah, we want to call deserialize on an already existing object. We don't want to create a new object. So, mm, yeah, we need to read n entries. Read. Then we need to go entries dot resize n entries. So this will resize the vector and create a bunch of um, default constructed entries. Then we can call deserialize on those entries to load the values from the file. So we go entries, 
at i dot deserialize. Actually, we can, again, here we can use a range-based for loop. So this time I used auto instead of entries, and it, it can't be const because uh, we're modifying them. So then we'll just call e dot deserialize. And that, I believe, should be all she wrote. Now, if we call do db, we're going to run the db program. Let me, uh, let me try that out here. All right, let's give her the old test. Add name number. Add name number. Print. Looks good. Save. File name aaa.txt. Let's quit. Let's run load aaa.txt print working fine all now with vectors all dynamic you see how much easier vectors make our life you see how much sexier vectors make our code vectors are the actual shit